hello guys welcome to the next video on bootstrap tutorial for beginners in the last video we have seen how to download and install bootstrap on our windows operating system now in this video we will talk about one of the most important concept in bootstrap which is grid system now in bootstrap grid system you can think of a bootstrap web page like a grid and this grid contains rows and columns okay so similarly bootstrap grid system is made up of three things two things are obvious one is row and second is column and these rows and columns are contained in a component called container okay and in a bootstrap web page you can create up to 12 columns and unlimited amount of rows so this is the basic rule in bootstrap right now what is a container in bootstrap grid system in bootstrap grid system we need a container to hold rows and columns as i have already told you and this container is a simple div element with a class called container okay so it will look like this and in bootstrap there are mainly two types of containers in bootstrap one is a fixed container and other is a fluid container so as the name suggests first container with this name called container itself it's of fixed width okay and whenever you use this class called uh, container fluid it will take the whole width of your uh, device which you are using so for example if you are using a mobile it will take the whole width of your mobile if you are using computer it will take the whole width of your computer now let's see this in practical so in the last video we have seen how to create this hello world web page in bootstrap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a div element inside the body of our web page so div and inside this div element we will call a class called container okay now inside this uh, body of the div i will just add this html tag with hello world and i'm going to save it and i'm going to run this and when i run this you can see this hello world text is aligned at the center of your web page so if you have something like a big sentence it will be aligned at the center of your web page with a fixed width okay so let's do something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this and i'm going to paste it few times and i'm going to save it and i will refresh my page and you can see it's nicely aligned at the center of our web page with a fixed width okay now if you use this container fluid with your div element so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to container fluid okay and i'm going to save this and now once again i'm going to refresh my page and now it takes the whole web page width of your browser okay so this is the basic difference so if you want that your content on your web page takes the whole width of the web page then you use this class called container fluid or you, if you want that your text must be aligned nicely at the center of your web page then you use this class called container okay and remember this will still be responsive so when i you know change the width of my browser it will be responsive so both 
container and container fluid classes you can use and it will still be responsive right but the basic difference is this container class has a fixed width and container fluid class has a width which is the width of your browser on your device so this is how uh, we use containers in bootstrap in the next coming videos we will talk about uh, rows and columns so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for